So today we are behind the scenes in our temperate amphibian breeding room to learn about gram for gram the most toxic amphibian on earth. These are Tarika granulosa. They are the rough skin newt and they can be found in North America. The reason these amphibians are so toxic is because they've been in something called an evolutionary arms race with their main predator, the garter snake. Now, as the snake has become more and more resistant to the toxin that these newts produce, the newts have been producing more and more poison to try and one-up the snakes. The chemical that these guys produce is 10,000 times stronger than cyanide, and that is called tetrodotoxin. Here in our breeding room, we have a group of eight adults. We also have seven juveniles from last year and a group of larvae. Our group of larvae are currently white and they have gills, so they look like tiny, tiny axolotls. When they're ready to mature, they'll come on onto land and they'll develop their orange warning coloration on their bellies and their camouflage brown coloration on their backs. A lot of toxic amphibians aren't actually dangerous in captivity and that is because they have a different diet here than they would in the wild. But these guys continue to produce poison even with the diet that we give them because they make the chemical themselves. Down in Toad Hall, you can visit our two axolotls. They are critically endangered and they come from a single lake in Mexico. Their Latin name is Ambistoma mexicanum and they are critically endangered because of their really restricted geographic niche. The water that they live in is being encroached upon for tourism and also housing development, which means that there is less and less area for them to survive in. Axolotls are one of the few salamanders that maintain their larval form their whole lives. This means that they are the equivalent of a giant tadpole when they're adult sized. And the strongest way that you can recognize this is through their gills. Our axolotls have regenerative superpowers, and this is their ability to regrow parts of their body if damaged. Each axolotl can regenerate a limb up to five times, and they can even regrow their spinal cord or parts of their brain if they're damaged. Our axolotls in Toad Hall have quite a varied diet, so they will eat things like earthworms, moray worms, and bloodworms. In the wild, they would also eat things like small fish and mollusks if they came across them. Our pair that live on show are father and son. Uh, they are 11 and 3 years old, and you can come and see them get fed during some of our talks at Toad Hall.